All right, today we'll be tearing down a late 90s Yamaha Kodiak 400. We'll pull off the head, we'll pull off the stator, the flywheel, recoil, a transfer, um, output shaft, rear drive yoke, this middle gear here, clutches, centrifugal clutch, clutch basket, We've got sensors, oil lines, cam chain tensioner, all this will come off. So we'll start by taking the head off. We'll pull the cam sprocket cover here. There's a 17 millimeter um, bolt on the inside here, but what we're gonna do first is pull the cam chain tensioner off. And the reason we do that, if there's pressure on that cam chain, when we uh, pull that cam assembly off, we won't able, be able to get that head off of there. So two eight millimeter bolts here. We'll pop that tensioner off, and then we will do, we'll pull the head bolts here, four 14 millimeter bolts here, and two Allens. So these Allens will loosen up here, spin these off, and then we will take the cam chain, sprocket off, so that's a 17 millimeter. You can see in the intake there, there's some corrosion. So I'm not sure what we'll find when we have to get this head pulled off. And 14 millimeter. And that is the head bolts there. They'll have some copper washers on them that you can take off or you know, like stick on them. And again, you can see these are four fairly long cylinder head bolts. So we'll take that, pull the 17 millimeter cam sprocket bolt off. Pull that off there. We can use our fingers, just stick it in those sprocket holes there and pull that sprocket out. Pull that cam chain off of there. And we'll just let this cam chain kind of dangle right there for a minute. And we will pull this head off. And there is the head there. There's your valves. You've got your intake valve, your exhaust valve. If we're wanting to take the cam out, uh, take these retainer um, clips, bend those down with a screwdriver and a hammer, take out these two 10 millimeters, and that cam will just slide out. This one here we're going to leave in. So I'm going to tip it on its side here so it can drain. A lot of times there's oil sitting in there. So here is your head gasket here. It's a metal head gasket. We've got your cam chain guide right here. And we'll put that with the sprocket and the tension. All right, next we'll pull the cylinder. You can see a little corrosion there, but it doesn't look, the dome of that doesn't look bad. There might be some buildup on there. We'll pull this Allen down here. It is the only thing holding this, um, besides those head bolts that came out of the top there. So. the Allen, then this cylinder will be ready to come off. Piston drop down in there. And you'll have to work it back and forth. There's a gasket there that'll kind of hold everything together. Now there is the cylinder. Check corrosion or check uh, scoring on those walls. Check the piston. And the piston has some buildup, could be cleaned up, possibly new rings, and it might be in good condition. So we will go ahead and pull that piston. How I do that is just take a pick, put it in a groove of that circlip, and put your thumb over top of it so it doesn't go flying. Pull that pin out or pull that clip out there, and then just push this pin. And a lot of times on these older ones, we'll just take anything, screwdriver, or anything, put it in there, tap it out. All right, and that came out there. And keep the circlip with it. You can see your cam chain drop down in here. I pull it out just so it doesn't bind up in there. You wouldn't have to, but. All right, next what we're gonna do is pull this stator and the flywheel assembly off. So I'm going to tip this motor up so you can see it a little bit better. All right, and then what we'll do here is pull these eight millimeters off, pull these Allens all here. This is a guard here that is held on by Allen's back here and everything's a little bit dirty so 
So all these holes here that are Allen's will need to uh, take and clean out so that we can get our Allen wrenches in there and they seat properly before we try spinning those out. Here's your oil filter cover here, two oil lines coming out of there. And we will, looks like maybe a 10 millimeter. Right here, fix this drive shaft cover off. So that's the cover there. that exposes this front yoke here. Now what we'll do is take this off, which is a couple Allen. This is your oil filter cover here. And you've got your adapter in behind it. Spin these off. We'll have some oil coming out here. And then we'll pull this stator cover off here. First we've got to pull the recoil cup off, 17 millimeter. And to make sure when we pull that recoil cover off here, uh, cup here, that doesn't spin this gear, binding this cam pin in that case and breaking that. So, there's a cover there. Cup there, there's the bolt. 